Every now and then I get some emails from people that want to send me stuff to do reviews and sometimes they're just ridiculous. Sometimes they want to do baby products, makeup, clothing, and stuff like that. And obviously that's not my channel, that's not what I do, so I reject those. I get a lot of weird stuff, but every once in a while something comes across that I just absolutely can't pass up, especially when it comes to lasers, CNC's, or anything like that. But in this box right here, I think we have the smallest laser set up in the world. I don't know, there might be one a little bit smaller, but this has to take the cake. This has to be one of the smallest. This is the longer Ray 5 Mini. I'm pretty excited to open up because evidently, it's right out of the box, ready to go. You don't have to do anything. I, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up, check it out, see what's up on the inside, get it hooked up to Lightburn and do a light test and check it out. I don't even know what the actual wattage is on this. Uh, they just sent it out and I said, absolutely, let's go ahead and do a review. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open it up. Check it out. So at the time of this video, they uh, had this for sale on Amazon for $129, which is a really good deal, honestly, if you haven't done a laser before. $129 is great, and they offer two different versions. They have a 2.5 watt and a 3.5 watt, and I believe that this is probably the 2.5 watt that they sent me. I'm not too sure. Uh, don't mind my thumb. I have a trigger finger thing going on, and I have a homemade brace. I think what I'm going to do is 3D print a thumb brace so that I don't bend it. But I just got a couple popsicle sticks and some tape. So don't mind that. Look past that. The cool thing is, here's the instructions. It comes with everything you need to get this thing set up and installed. But we'll go ahead and try to get uh, the basics going on camera. Comes with your safety goggles. You definitely want to make sure that you wear your safety goggles at all times or at the very least have some kind of shield going over the system. So make sure you do that. Here is the power supply right here. This is your power plug. A little bit of tools and cleaning right here. It has some test material, which is really weird. It has some clear, which diode lasers don't really cut through clear very well, if at all. There looks like a little screw pin and a brush probably to clean off some soot or something along that lines. USB. C to USB connector and a little tool and then the actual laser module itself. Let's see what they sent. This is the 2.5 output watt. So they sent me the 2.5, which is $129 for this kit altogether. But there it is, look at this little tiny thing. You could put it in the palm of your hand. You could see right here, pretty small, nothing crazy. Laser protector, this is actually to protect your eyes as well. So if you're not using this, you definitely wanna make sure that you're using your goggles or both of them. It's magnetic. And last, inside the box, we have the actual XY. So let's go ahead and take it out. Now, I'm gonna show you something out of the box. This, I can't tell what is going on, but it looks like the gantry is not parallel uh, to the unit. So you gotta make sure that that is the case because your shapes won't cut right if your gantry is not squared up. Here's another tip. If you take your gantry and you move it all the way back and you tip it about 30 degrees, it should start rolling smoothly. And this does. So we're in good shape. I think we're gonna be all right. We don't have to do any belt, belt tightening or anything like that. Uh, your e-stop is probably going to be pushed down, so make sure that your e-stop is turned and then you should be good. That is the USB to the computer. There is your power and there is your on-off switch. I kind of wish that these were in the back. It'd be nice if those were actually back here. And I think what we can do, let's get a tape measure and or a ruler and measure from this point to here to here and we want to make sure that these are the exact same distances this way so let's go ahead and check that out real quick yeah and that's actually pretty good right there just like that so make sure that when you take this out of the box that if this is a little cattywampus or however the word you want to use that you are in good shape this little screw for the laser itself to connect it to the gantry, so let's go ahead and put that in real quick. So I have a feeling, now that I'm thinking about it, I have a feeling that this is not for a test cut. I think this is the spacer for the laser to be focused. This is gonna go in between your piece of wood or material that you're cutting or engraving. This is gonna set up here, and then you're gonna drop this down 
all the way to the bottom. That way you know that your piece is in focus. All right, what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and get this plugged into Lightburn and then we'll go ahead and do a test cut and see how she does. All right guys, now that we went ahead and we got the uh, longer mini ray uh, installed and ready to go, let's go ahead and download because I use Lightburn. Let's go ahead and download the mini ray five Lightburn file. So to do that, we're just gonna go to their website and it's gonna be, I'll just type in the actual, um, website itself. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to download the Lightburn firmware for the uh, Mini right here. So let's go ahead and download that now. All right, I already have my 340 drivers installed for my other system, so I don't need to do this. If this is your very first laser whatsoever, you're going to have to install that driver first. But uh, let's go ahead and download this here. We need to download this file right here. So went ahead and got that downloaded. Let's go down and minimize this. I'm not gonna turn on the machine yet. Let's go ahead and just open up Lightburn. All right guys, now that we got Lightburn open, let's come over here down to devices and let's go and import. And then we're gonna come over here to my Ray 5 Mini here. That's the Lightburn file. Let's open that and then let's hit okay. And there we go. Now we are set up for the Ray 5. You can see right here, it automatically imports all the settings and devices for that. It set up my dimensions. This is 130 by 140 uh, millimeters. So we should be good to go and we should be able to turn on the machine now and get it set up. So the one thing we're going to do though, is I want to go to edit and then do device settings. And I want to make sure that my S value max is 1000 right here. I'm going to do auto home on setup. I don't know if this has auto home, it does have, um, but we'll go ahead and tr try that. Okay, and then let's come back up to edit and go to machine settings. We're not turned on, so let's go ahead and turn on the machine. And then we're gonna come down here and do USB. And it auto-homed already. So we wanna make sure, let's go up to uh, edit machine settings. And then we're gonna make sure that our laser mode is enabled and our max spindle is at a thousand. So we're, we match up that S value max. So we're, we're good there. So let's go ahead and do a project. Let's go ahead and hit cancel. We are good to go, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna close uh, Lightburn out one more time, quit Lightburn, and come back over here one more time to Lightburn, the machine. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and come back to the camera and I'm gonna show you the machine a little bit more. All right, everybody, so this thing is on, ready to go. I got it hooked up to Lightburn, and it was super easy to install. It recognized right away. It auto-homes, and it is good. So let me show you real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get Lightburn opened up here. Let's go ahead and let's turn off and close Lightburn. I'm going to turn off the machine and kind of just put it anywhere. Let's just put it way over here in the middle. And I think what we're going to do is let's go ahead and open up Lightburn. I'm going to show you auto-home feature. And you're gonna see the machine auto homes and it is ready to go. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a little piece of wood that we have here. This is your focusing block. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this and put it under the laser, drop it down, and then you're gonna take that lasering focus block out and away. And that will give you the focus depth that you need to do a test cut. So with that being said, I think what we're going to do is let's go ahead and just do a really simple uh, project and see what happens. All right guys, so what I did was I just imported a really small logo, the Crawl Space Craftsman logo. I just guessed on some settings to see what uh, this thing does and how it works. I'm kind of guessing at these, so let's go ahead and move over and I'm gonna show you this first cut and then we'll do an actual test cut. And we'll see how that works. All right, let's go ahead and uh, frame one time. And let's go ahead and see what happens.
All right guys, so I know that wasn't the best shot, but let me show you the actual end product here. Check that out. That actually did a pretty detailed job uh, doing laser engraving. Now this is at 100% power. Again, pardon my thumb. This is at 100% power at 3,000 millimeters a minute of engraving on basswood. And the detail is actually really, really nice. Perfectly square, no issues whatsoever. I think this thing actually does a really good job with the laser engraving part. But now let's go ahead and put a piece of wood down. I'm gonna reset this all up, move the camera a little bit better angle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do a uh, test cut with this laser to see how it does. I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot of passes to cut through just three millimeter basswood, but we're gonna test it out and see how it does. All right guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a test. So let's go over here to laser tools and do a material test. Uh, we're gonna give this thing all the fighting power that it can get. I really don't think that it's gonna do very well. I could be wrong with the cutting part of this. So we're gonna go down to, um, I think this is gonna go 50. We're gonna change that to 50. Why won't it go down to 50? 60 millimeters a minute is gonna be the slowest that it's gonna allow us to do. And then we're gonna change this down to 400. So that's gonna be the best, the fighting power that we can get. We're gonna do 10 uh, boxes across, 10 boxes down, so we'll do that. Let's go ahead and name this the Longer Ray 5 Mini, okay. And we're going to enable the text, enable the border. Let's go over here to preview, check it out. So this is what our test cut is going to look like. And let's go ahead and kind of drag this and see what it's going to do. So it's going to do all the lettering first, all the way across, just like that. All right. And then we're going to get all the way and do the cutout. So let's go ahead and hit OK for that. Um, let's edit the border settings. So the speed for the fill, we're going to just drop this down. I don't even know if it's going to do anything. Let's just change this to 500 and then 75% power. Let's hit OK. And then let's come over here to the border settings. I think the border is the cutout. So we're going to, we need to really give this everything. I'm just going to save it at 50. It's going to go super slow. Uh, we're going to go at 100% power. I don't know if that's going to be good. Let's go ahead and bring that up and hit OK. And I think we are good to go. So let's go over to the uh, machine and let's do a preview one more time. This is what it's going to look like. It's going to start at 60, go as fast as 400, and then 10% power all the way to 100% power. Let's go back over to the laser and let's go ahead and frame this out and we'll get it all squared away and get the laser test cut. All right, guys, unfortunately, uh, I wasn't recording when I was doing the framing on this laser test cut. So I have it started. This is the generator and it says that it's going to take an estimated time of 34 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and see how this thing does. Right now, it's just doing all of the numbers and letters. And then when it's done with doing all of these, which it seems to be doing pretty well. I think this is 500 millimeters a minute at 75% uh, power. So once it gets done with all of the outlines and the borders, uh, it'll go ahead and actually do the test cut blocks uh, one at a time. So when we come back, we'll see if this thing actually can cut through three millimeter basswood on one pass. and uh, speed this down. I did a little bit of speed up on it because this is taking quite some time, but I want to show you what 60 millimeters a minute actually looks like in real time. This thing is barely moving and uh, I don't think it's cutting all the way through. So let's go ahead and finish up this burn and then we'll go ahead and talk about this. All 
guys, so we went ahead and we got the test cut done, and I'm gonna tell you, it didn't cut all the way through, but it was really close. Check out the back, there it is right there. You can actually see down here, it wanted to cut through, but it just couldn't make it. And that was at 60 millimeters a minute at 100% power. So I'm kind of thinking that if I would have done it maybe two to three passes a little bit faster, it probably would have cut through maybe 100 millimeters a minute. Let's see, maybe about 130, 140 millimeters per minute at 100% uh, power. It probably still would have taken two to three passes at the very least to cut all the way through. So I don't really recommend this machine if you're looking to cut a lot of projects all the way through the wood because it just doesn't have that power. But if you're looking to do something like engraving or to make something such as, you're definitely good to go. This was at 1500 millimeters a minute at 100% power. Might have been able to uh, drop the speed down just a little bit, but that actually cut pretty quickly and that's about oh two two and a half inches so if you're doing logos or if you're just doing something for jewelry or keychains this would probably be a great machine for you to use especially as a beginner super easy to hook up and install what i'm going to do is i'm going to go get a small wooden keychain and that's going to be the next project i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use lightburn and we're going to go ahead and create a qr code to my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram. That way I can keep that on me at all times and put it onto my uh, keychain because I got a lot of people that ask me, uh, you know, what is my YouTube channel out in the wild? So now I'm gonna have a way that I can say, just go ahead and scan this and scan this and we should be good to go. So let's do that project real quick. Let's go ahead and create a keychain QR code. Here we go. All right, pretty easy. Just come over here to create a QR code and then we're just gonna make our little box. And then we'll go ahead and command, command V. We'll put that in there and hit OK. And it should now create our QR code. Uh, we want to create this into a fill. We want that to be an output. Let's change this to 1000. And then this is going to be 100% power. Let's hit OK. We're going to lock this up and let's go. We want to go down to 25. We want to change this to current. Hey guys that is it that is the video i went ahead and tested out and unboxed this machine and absolutely super happy with it for what it is it's a really tiny machine and if you're a beginner that's never been into lasering or anything like that this might be the machine that you want to get just because it's so inexpensive on their website right now they got the 109 price for the two and a half watt and they have a 129 price for the three and a half watt or you can jump on amazon and pick up the same exact machine for about 20 dollars more uh, per wattage if you feel more comfortable or ordering it through Amazon. Looking through their website, their website is really awesome. They actually have an 800 number that you can call if you have any questions right here, 1-888-575-9099, which is really great that they have a listed phone number to contact. A lot of good information on their website, all the drivers and anything you might need to run this machine right there on their website really awesome. That is it. That is the video. Thank you longer for going ahead and sending me this laser. This will definitely be something that I keep in my arsenal, especially if I'm doing really small projects. If you like this video, go down below, hit the like button. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit that black bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. I got some really cool reviews and DIY tutorials and all sorts of other stuff coming up in the very near future. But until that next video, make sure I do one thing, stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.